What was the heartbreak like of knowing one of your own helped put you behind bars because of just your code and your beliefs that you would never do anything like that? I wouldn't say so much it was heartbreaking. I would say it was eye opening. Mm. It's like that's what you get, nigga, for putting your fucking guard down. So and you for disregarding the rules. Don't fucking bring anybody that you don't know into your circle. Those are like cardinal rules. So you took it as a hard lesson, more yeah. than anything. And they say yeah. like the the best lessons are usually the hardest ones too. Right. So the per the the person wasn't like your your man man. It was just kind of like somebody that you kind of knew. It was a nigga that that you know was connected to other people that I fucked with. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That that stamped him. Like yo, nigga official. You know what I mean? Like connect with homie. Ah, uh, why? But against my better judgment. And me thinking that I'm untouchable at the time. Remember, I thought I was untouchable. Nobody could tell me shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, police are searching my car all the time. They don't find shit. I got a pistol and 100 grams in the, in the stash. They were just searching my car for two hours. They didn't find shit. I'm driving away like, yeah, you bitch-ass niggas. Ah, I really am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, nobody could tell me shit at the time. And, and when it's happening, you never see the signs. You never see the signs until you're sitting in that bullpen, like, that you're sitting there connecting the dots, like, fuck. Right. Damn, how the fuck he got me lacking like that? Know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, outside of what you were saying before about how, like, being a child, you know, or a, a, a racist and stuff, those are, being a snitch is, like, one of the worst things you can be in prison, though, right? Yeah. And and even yeah. uh I mean like that's like a, a crazy jacket to put on anybody without like in prison, like how does it work with like everybody checks each other paperwork like that? Like if you if you get that rumor put on you? Not everybody. I mean if you was on gang time, like I could tell you this, like the Latin Kings, the Bloods, the Crips, the Sureños, the the disciples. Anybody that was, like, on real game time, them niggas, you have to have your paperwork. You have to have your paperwork. You can't walk around the compound without your paperwork. Mm. It's like your license. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't navigate the, the jail without your license. But to you, like, that's a, a code that you live and you would die for, that you believe so strongly for, that you would never... Um, you would never, you know, violate for anybody, right? But you look at Nothing. you look at now this era that we're in and how it's almost become more acceptable for people to to snitch. Like how do you feel about that? Especially when you see kind of like in hip hop now, like it's more accepting of that. I don't feel no way about it because I don't put no energy into it. And plus the life I live now, I don't it's not something that's, uh, you know, imminent in my life. It's mm. not, I'm not putting myself in positions where I have to worry or not, this nigga's going to snitch on me or not. You know what I'm saying? Like I could, I can honestly, you know, without, without feeling certain, certain type of way, say that I'm living a square life. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm living a square. I'm not involved in the street life anymore. You're just a regular you know what citizen I'm now. I can say that. I'm a regular citizen that I still fuck a nigga up. Let's just put it like that. Well, I, like, th I think that, I say that you just a man. Humbly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you just a man, yeah, right? You know and I mean? a man like, will protect their own. Don't get me twisted right. just because that I'm living a square life. Don't, I'm, don't get me twisted. Don't find out the hard way. Like, I don't want to take it there, but I can. You know, and all the niggas that, that are with me, that you know what I'm saying, that, that, I, that I'm with on a regular basis, we all live in this lifestyle where we want to do better for us and we want to show our people better by 
not through our actions, but don't get us fucked up because if we have to take it there, it's going to be ugly. But you don't feel any type of way about how people are, are making it more justifiable to snitch these days, though, like in hip hop and everything. I can't put my energy into it. You can't even think about it. I Got can't you. put my energy into it because we're living in different times. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't feel no way about it. I feel you. I just know that if, if you were right, I could never, ever, like, we'll ne- you're a ghost to me. You just don't exist. Like, I see through you. Like, it's nothing. You're a ghost to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't get me twisted. When I say rats, I, I mean people that were invested in the street life, knew the consequences, and still chose to turn on their people. Right. I'm not talking about somebody that witnesses a shooting in the street and points somebody out. That's just a citizen. That's not a rat. That's just. I think that a lot of people not, get that confused, though. That. Like, why? Why is that? Why is? Why do people just like consider like any form? as snitching even if that person was never a part of the street life if they were just a regular citizen impossible if a, if a if a person is not living the street life and they're square they're a regular citizen how can they ever be a snitch they don't walk they don't they don't move with the same morals and and unspoken rules of the street like that we do right so how can you have them the same expectations for them yeah, you know, my, my bro, uh, China Mac, he said that, like, when you pick up that gun, when you do those little things in the street and stuff like that, you're basically signing a contract, you know what I mean, that you obey by these certain perfect. codes in, in this life. That's what he said. He said, perfect. you know. That's the perfect way to put it. Yeah, and he says that people, you know, that aren't living that kind of life, it's like they didn't agree to 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 go by those codes. So you can't put that same standard on them, basically. Yeah, you can't put that standard on them. You can't have them same expectations for them. You know, they're regular civilians, they're regular citizens. You know, if my if my grandmother calls the cops on somebody because they're smoking weed in the hallway of our building, and somebody calls my grandmother a snitch, nigga, I'm gonna come for your head. I'm gonna, it's off, it's off <laughs> with your fucking head. Right. Don't ever label my my grandmother no snitch. Like, are you fucking retarded? You know what I'm saying? Like, you call. I mean, because because essentially, a citizen is doing what they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Because they live in just that regular life. Like yeah. they, you of know. <laughs> if you come up to me and do something to me, my mother's gonna call the cops on you. Right, right, right. Because she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> my mother knows who did it. She's calling the cops on you. 